Hello everybody. Thank you so much for pressing play on my video today. My name is Charlene from stampershaw.com and I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator here in the US. Happy Wednesday everybody. I did mention this week that I would be featuring our clear medium sized envelopes and I've got a super cute project to share with you. But before we get started, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, you can do so by hitting that red subscribe button or you can click that little girl that sits in the corner of your screen. Either way, subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit that bell that's going to notify you every time I upload a video now any of the supplies that I used in today's video you can find it in the description below and if you click on it that's going to take you on over to my online store I do post projects every weekday to inspire you over on my website, www.stampwithshar.com. If you click the link in the description, that's going to take you on over there. And don't forget to enter your email address and subscribe to my blog and, and get daily updates. I do love hearing from you. Leave me a comment. Thank you so much for watching today's video. We're going to flip the camera and we're going to get started. So this is a close-up of the project we are going to be creating today. It's a super cute little photo album. I love it. And inside it's got our medium clear envelopes. So I'm going to share with you how we create this. Now I did coordinate Monday's card to today's project so I could give this to a friend or a family member or a co-worker. And I did that purposely where I matched, you know, the two. So I could give it away as a gift. But I'm going to share with you how we create this. Now, if you miss any of these measurements, don't stress. I will have a written detailed description over on my website, www.stampwithshard.com. Now, the suite of product I chose is the Needle Point Nook suite. I absolutely love this suite. I love the sayings. I love... I just love the entire suite. <laughs> All right, so today I'm going to be making it in a different color. And again, I wanted to match my green card. So we have old olive and this piece is cut at four and seven eighths by eight and three eighths. And we need to score this at one and a quarter. This top piece is cut at four and seven eighth by six and an eighth. We have a piece of the Needlepoint Nook designer series paper, and that piece is cut at four and a quarter by five and a half. I have a couple pieces of scrap. I have a piece of Whisper White, and that we're going to use to to our little flowers and that piece is measured at one and three quarters by three and then I have a p another piece of old olive and that's for the leaves these leaves right there and this piece is cut at two and a half by two and a half okay so we'll get our stamping done and get that out of the way. Now, whenever you are using a photopolymer stamp set, you always want to make sure you use a piercing mat. And that's going to give you a nice crisp image when you go to stamp. My stamps today, my stamp, my inks are in Highland Heather and Gorgeous Grape. Now you want to make sure you start with the lighter color first. And you're going to stamp your big flower. Such detail. This is like a distinctive type stamp. And it is beautiful, you guys. And then with the darker color, you're going to bring that same. There's a little stamp in there. And you're just going to add it on top. And I'm not too concerned that I'm not, you know, right dead in the center. It doesn't bother me. So 
that's that. You are now going to run this through the Big Shot. And let me know in the comments, you guys, is that something you want to see in the videos? Because I don't know. I prefer to do it ahead of time because it saves time and you don't have to watch me cutting. However, if you want to see that, I don't mind doing it. Okay. So leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts. I have my old olive piece of paper and I've got my old olive ink and again I'm just going to come in with that stamp and then you're going to go and you're going to run these pieces through the big shot. Now if you see here it's smeared there in the middle. I don't care because I'm going to cut that and you're not even going to see that that's smeared there in the middle. So, set that off to the side. Let's work on our album. So, I'm going to grab my envelopes. These are our clear, medium-sized envelopes, and you get 50 of these. Now, depending how many, you know, places or slots you want for your album will determine how many you put in there. But I'm going to go with five. Now, I said that there was a score line at one and a quarter. It's hard to see. I made a little error there. But you're not going to see that, so it doesn't matter. But there's that one and a quarter inch score line. You're going to take the backing off. And you are going to add your envelope right underneath that score line. Now when you do this, you just you want to make sure... You want to make sure that you are centered on the top and the bottom. And you just want to make sure that you are flush up against the edge when doing this. And you are just going to continue to layer your envelopes. Once you have all your envelopes done, you're going to fold where that score line is. I just got my burn folder. And that is going to go over like so. What you're going to do now, I've got this flax ribbon. I'm going to cut a piece off. I want to say uh, maybe eight inches or so. Now I'm just guessing. And you are just going to lay your flax ribbon Oh, where is my t You know what? I can't find my tape. So I'm going to add a little piece of tearing tape there. I uh, can't find my sticky tape. Okay. And basically, you just want to make sure you got that nice in the middle. And wrap that around like so. Okay. Now, on my original, I added some of that green. And again, that is optional. I have my paper piercing mat. And I got some, some brads. And you are just going to make some holes so that the brads can go into. You're going to fold the brads back. Now, 
I actually took these flowers and covered these brads with these flowers. There's no right or wrong way to embellishing and decorating your album. You are now going to take some tear and tape and you are going to add tear and tape all along this piece. You remove all the backing. You're now going to fold this over. You're going to attach your designer series paper. I've got a piece of tear and tape. And then this, you're going to line up, meeting the ends. And you're going to attach that like so. Now you will notice on the green one I've attached it above that strip and on the blue one I attached it below the strip. And again it doesn't matter how you do it but that's the gist of the photo album. And then you are just going to start layering all your pieces and embellishing you know the front of your album however you want it i've got a little piece of vellum just going to attach that i got my pieces that i cut out Thank you so much for watching my video today, you guys. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel. That way you guys don't miss my next video. Don't forget to comment. I love hearing from you. If you don't comment, I don't know what you're thinking. And then I can't fix it or, or make things better. I'm always trying to improve, you know. All right, and then just to finish it off, we're going to stamp that sentiment. And I am just going to pop this up with some dimensionals. Well, my friends, I hope you enjoyed different ways to use our medium clear envelopes. There's so much you can do with those, you guys. So, go order, so order yourself a pack. They're amazing. And that is just gonna go right in the middle. How cute, you guys. And again, I will have a written detailed description over on my website. 
Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Take care.